Hey kindergartners, I would like you guys to practice the project we did in class on Tuesday. And if you weren't here on Tuesday, go ahead and do it for the first time. So if you remember, you want a piece of paper. We use big paper, but you can use any kind of paper that you have at home, as long as one side has no writing on it. So I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half the long way, the hot dog way. And I want to match up my corners so I get a really nice fold and I want to press, press, press. And then I want to use my fingers and pinch across. I'm going to open it up and since we used our name on Tuesday, we should use a different word today. And you guys know me and I love sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and do shark. And I want to make my letters nice and big and I want them to touch the fold in the middle and touch each other. Remember, if you've got a word like J or G or Y, I'm sorry, a letter like J or G or Y, you want to keep it above the line. Otherwise, it won't work. All right. Now, this is the tricky part, and you can ask mom or dad or your big brother or sister to help you, but you want to make it look like this word is here. Right? So it's going to be sort of flipped and backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start here. And I'm going to make my S upside down and backwards. And I'm going to connect to my other letters. And that'll help me because I can see where they touch. Right? I'm going to have the tail of my A touch the tail of the other A. Can we see that? All right. The R is a little harder because he doesn't touch at the bottom, really. Then, if you want to turn this one into a bug, you can, like we did in class. But you don't have to. I did mine with a big black um, colored pencil because I don't have a black marker, but if you had a black marker, you could go over those lines. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start coloring mine in. This one you can decorate however you would like. Think about when we're coloring, how we use our colors. You want to be good spot inspectors. Today I'm not a white spot inspector. I'm a yellow spot inspector. And my paper is yellow. Now cover up that paper. Color it in nice and thick. here and keep coloring and I will post a picture of my finished piece when I'm done. I can't wait to see yours. Bye!